everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, my hair has grown quite a bit. I did get tape and hair extensions. Um, if you guys wanna see a video specifically on that, then just let me know down below. But today we're talking about hair removal and not shaving anymore. So if you are a somewhat hairy person and you wanna learn how to manage your hair so that you don't have to shave all the time, then just keep watching. I'm going to talk a bit about what I do and how I haven't shaved since Christmas time. So let's get into the video and I will show you my tricks. I have this here, which is my epilator. This is a Philips Satinel epilator and an epilator, basically, if you don't know what it is, is just a machine that sounds terrifying, but it actually is like a bunch of little tweezers, if you can see in the close up here. So it has all these little like things that look like tweezers and they rip your hair out from the root. So it's like you're tweezing it. Um, and honestly, it does hurt a little bit. When you first start, it hurts a lot more, especially if your hair is longer. So I found that if your hair is shorter, it actually is less painful because it just rips it out like faster. Um, and I will show you my armpits as well because I haven't done them in probably, I would say like three to four weeks now. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from far away and then close up. So let me show you my armpit right now. This is it from far away. I feel like you cannot see any hair. It looks nice and fresh and clean. And now, this is gonna be gross, but can you see those little hairs? There's a lot actually. And now I'm going to epilate it. So this is the before. Okay, so my t-shirt kind of got in the way, but this is the after. And that took no time at all. Actually did my arms on Christmas. I don't think I've actually done them since then. Um, and I have pretty hairy arms. I have really hairy arms for a girl. I'll show you kind of a close up. I didn't do my upper arm here and that would be like the least hairy part of my arm and this still looks pretty hairy, but I think I might actually have pictures. I, if I have pictures, I'll insert them here, but my arm itself is very hairy, and I used to get made fun of in elementary school because I had really hairy arms, but um, I've always been kind of self-conscious about it, like especially in pictures, you can see like, if I went like this, my hair, you would see my hair. Like I had a lot of it, I could brush it over the arm. So um, when I saw this, I was like, that's a perfect opportunity to give it a go. Waxing really irritates my skin, so it wasn't something that I thought I would be able to do on my arms. This is my arm right now. So you can see that the hair has started to grow back, but it's really very manageable, super light. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you with my little tormentor how I remove it. I think my arms actually hurt more than my armpits because my arm hair was so long, but your armpit hair is definitely a thicker hair, so it does pull. It is a little painful and I did bleed a little bit, but that happens to me with waxing as well, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's from this itself. I think it's just hair removal in general. But let me show you how I use it. So this is my arm like you saw. So what you wanna do is you take this and you run it the opposite way of the hair growth. So my arm hair grows down like this. So I'm gonna run it across like this. So hair and no hair. So you can see the difference between the two. I'm going to be doing that to the rest of my arm afterwards, but I just wanted to show you again me doing it and showing you that it doesn't really hurt if you ha after you've done it once or twice, your hair it gets accustomed to it just as the same as waxing or anything like that. Your hair kind of adapts and gets thinner and thinner until eventually it's like basically nothing. So again, I will say some spots are more sensitive than the others. So right here for me is very sensitive and same with like close to my elbow or inside of my elbow. 
but that is honestly so worth it for me because if I have the before picture or any picture where you can see my arm hair, I will insert it and it's always been something, like I said, that bothers me. So finding this and trying it out was super easy and like a no brainer. I was like, I'm gonna do this all the time now. It's just so much easier. So that is going to be all today for my epilating video and my hair removal. Those are two areas that I really struggled with and I think that it might help you out. So if you are a naturally hairier person, first off, not a big deal. Second off, if you want to, you could grab this and pick it up. This video is not sponsored at all. I bought this with my own money on my own time and I just used it and it actually worked. So I thought that I would let you guys know. Something else you can do if the area hurts too much when you first start doing it. So for my armpits, I used to not be able just to whip it out and do it. But now I can do that because my hair is thinner. But what you can do is you just get some ice, put it in a baggie, Put it over the armpit or the area you want to work on go ahead and do that and then repeat the process over again until all the hair is gone if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to hear more about hair removal or anything like that let me know down below if you are new to my channel and you like this video please subscribe i would love to have you join the family I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video remember to always be nice to people and I love you bye